Yeah, Mike and Shannon, I, I have to tell you, I don't think most of the people in this room on the second floor of the Graduate Hotel know that Dan McKee has been called uh, the winner in the gubernatorial race. We've heard from outgoing Congressman Jim Langevin, U.S. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, J he was not up for uh, re-election here, was just on the stage uh, whipping up the crowd. Right now, we have the Democratic Chairman Joe McNamara, who's talking uh, to the crowd. But what we do know and Ted did mention this, is the McKee campaign is well aware that uh, Channel 12 has called the race for Governor Dan McKee. And we also know that Ashley Kalis is aware because I just received a text about 45 seconds ago from a campaign staffer with McKee who said that Ashley Kalis just called the governor to concede the race. I asked how did the call go and the response I got here, I'll read it, short and sweet was how that phone call went between Ashley Kalis and Dan McKee. Very different from the primary, of course, where uh, Dan McKee didn't take the call from Helena folks, as we all remember. This one played out very differently. We are expecting the governor to take the podium behind me. Not exactly sure when that is going to happen, but I think they are eager to uh, take the stage, claim a quick victory, and they told me they were feeling very good soon after the polls closed because, as Ted talked about, the mail ballots had not been counted yet, and they know, just like uh, he was talking about who those went to, and those tend to be uh, Democratic voters uh, in this election. So they were feeling very confident. And although there wasn't a big turnout in CD1, they were happy with the areas in CD2 uh, that was seeing an increase in turnout there. They were nervous earlier today that maybe the Alan Fung Seth Magaziner race would punch up the numbers in uh, the second congressional district, giving Ashley Kalis a head of steam. But when they started seeing the increase individual towns, the McKee campaign started feeling very confident about how tonight was going to go, and they're going to feel, they feel like right now this is going to be a referendum for Dan McKee going into his first full term.